Hi, it's Martin. And welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's video is Vlogtober episode 8. And it's the final one of Vlogtober because in letting you behind the camera, it's actually the 1st of November today as I'm filming this intro. I've been poorly this week. I've had a bit of a head cold. Earlier in the week, I had a raging sore throat. Like, felt like I was swallowing razor blades. I had a temperature. Um, I've had two days off work poorly. The first day, I literally spent all the day in bed asleep. Mark bless him. Kept waking me up every four hours to give me uh, paracetamol. And I kind of slept on and off all day. And then I slept all night. So I know I'm not being, I've not been 100%. So this video is a little bit disjointed because I feel like I have some footage from before I was poorly. And I'm going to edit all of that together. But I realised as I started to edit it, I didn't actually have an intro. So I'm recording the introduction now. Hi, welcome. It's been a ride this Vlogtober. I've really enjoyed sharing behind the scenes of what Mark and I have been getting up to. I've enjoyed sharing progress on my MCAL, which is behind me. No, we haven't finished Clue 3. We're nearly there. I'll show it in a bit. I have made something else, though. I have a finished object to show you. Um, but I need to now start to edit the footage into some kind of an order. Um, so I thought I will do clips. So I might be back like this in other bits to set up the next bits, if that makes sense. Anyway, it's currently the 1st of November as I film this. I'm going to get all this footage edited and then hopefully you'll get to see this blog on Friday. I'm feeling a lot better. I have a cup of coffee. Day off today because I've got a band trip to Torquay, which is on the south coast, if you don't know the UK, down the bottom. And we've got a band competition this weekend. So that's not been great timing either, but there we are. So the first bit of the footage you're about to see, we're gonna go Christmas decoration shopping. The John Lewis Christmas shop has opened. So last weekend, we took a trip into the city centre and we went to John Lewis. So let's go and have a look at some Christmas decorations. And yeah, I know it's Vlogtober, but Vlogtober goes straight into Christmas prep and Advent and Vlogmas. So there's also Christmas cake coming in this episode. So um, let's go Christmas shopping. Let's put some twinkly music on. There were loads of really cool things. The The little 1970s style vintage Santa, I loved him. Mark was not a fan. Um, the only downside with some of the, um, when going Christmas shopping for ornaments and baubles and things is because we live in the flat, it's just a hardwood floor. So we can't have glass ornaments because we have a real tree, the tree moves, um, like the leaves just like 
they start to drop slightly. And if the baubles fall, they just smash and shatter. So we have to have plastic or fab. We've got loads of fabric decorations, but I really wanted that little Christmas Santa. Maybe I'll have a conversation with Mark and see if we can maybe get that one. But we went Christmas shopping. And then on Sunday night, I did something. And you know one of those perfect Instagram versus reality? We had one of those moments. I feel like this is a different style of video where I'm going to narrate before the footage. So, um... Yeah, let's look at the spooky Halloween display. Hi, I don't know when you're gonna watch this footage, but I'm gonna do a winter thing. A winter thing? A Halloween spooky thing. Mark is here, he's cooking tea. Hello. <laughs> Have you seen them on Instagram about making Halloween candles? So you put them in water and then you can bend them to make like spooky ghost shapes? That's what I'm going to do now. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we might have spooky candles. Who can say? Let's do it. Okay, you know one of those Instagram versus reality things? So I watched the Instagram video of how to do it. You can see there's drama coming, can't you? I watched the Instagram video and it said using boiling water. So I boiled the water from the kettle. Boiling water is boiling water. Um, we have got a bendy candle. However, the candle's now disintegrated and there was boiling water. Um, so I tipped the water out in the sink because the candles were quickly dissolving and now everything that was in the sink is now covered in candle wax. So this is an Instagram versus reality because I now need to boil water to redo the sink. As you can tell, Mark is overjoyed. <laughs> Oopsie! Okay, they're done. <laughs> they look super cute. He's my favourite. But, um, yeah, I've made a right mess, but it's fine, because I've now got an Instagram, oh, that's a really cute picture, because I've now got Instagram ready candles. Mark is very patient. Um, yeah. If you're going to do it, don't boil the kettle. You want warm water. I swear, the lady whose Instagram video I watched. She lied. Well, she might have lied, but she said boil the kettle, mm. which is what I did. But it's done. Bless Mark, he's very patient. And it didn't take too long to clean up. Um, although that pan lid now has a lovely... It's, it's, it's water repellent is what it is now. Um... <laughs> Yeah, don't boil the kettle, folks. Um, so coming up now, we're going to move on to um, a finished object. So I think I mentioned this at the end of last video. I may have even started it. I did start it. This is the downside with filming every day, like little bits and editing them together. I can't remember, because I know I filmed something, but I can't remember whether you've seen it or not. And it's also the thing about, I'm trying to do more reels on Instagram because that's the thing now, and feed in the algorithm. So I know I've definitely put this live on Instagram already. But I have a finished object, which is very spooky and fits in with the Halloween theme. So this is Philippe the Gargoyle, and this is a toft pattern. So they were running a crochet along, which started, I think, the 24th of October. And we did a little bit every day to make a gargoyle in time for Halloween. So I've never made one of these before. I've always seen the Philippe's and lots of people make them for Halloween. And it's always one of those fun makes that you see on Instagram. Uh, but I've never actually made one. So I picked up a skein of the yarn. Um, Kerry and Toft were selling this. I think they were selling it on Sewing Street, which is like a craft website and TV channel. 
Um, this is the last of the bobcat yarn that they made from making bobcats as part of the dye club, I think it was a few years ago. So they were selling the last of the bobcat yarn in order to make um, a Philippe. So yeah, I've made mine. Um, standard um, head and body construction. It's got the classic toft fat belly. Um, but what I really liked about this, and this is what I like trying to do different projects to challenge myself and learn new skills. This has movable elbows and legs. And he's also got an ankle. And you do that by closing off the round and then reopening it. So rather than say on a normal toft make, you would just have the arm goes all the way down. You actually do this technique and it kind of gives you Look at him dancing. Um, it kind of gives you um, moo, 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 moo. <laughs> Can you tell I'm still not 100%? It gives you poseable uh, limbs. So like, I could sit him on my hand and we could bend his leg. See what I mean? If he sat on a book, it would be easy on a bookshelf. You kind of get the point I'm making. I, you can pose them into different styles, which you can't necessarily do. I imagine if you could wire them. So some of the Toff makes have got wire in, or you can put modeling wire in. Um, imagine him with modeling wire. He would look, oh, he would look so cool. Um, so yeah, so this is Philippe. And I'm really happy. I did, for this crochet along, Kerry released um, like a bonus PDF that you could get to learn different, uh, to, to do different, um, I think there were different eyes and eyebrows, different hands and feet. Um, and there's also a wings option. Um, because this was my first one, I did it as a classic Philippe. So he's got the claw. Um, and toes. And yeah. He is really cute and I love him. So he's now sitting on my Halloween display. Yes, that's right. I have a Halloween display. I'll show you that in a moment. He's not going to sit there, is he? Kind of. Um, <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I have a finished object in this video as well for this week. So, um... When I was at the towards the end of my deathbed, I did manage to do a little crochet in the evening, um, and I did the little the little tiny bits, which it means I haven't done a lot on my MCAL because I've been poorly. But uh, so where are we up to in the footage? So Monday night, so candle for Sunday night. Monday night when I finished work, I wasn't feeling poorly at that point. Um, I had a tiny little bit of a headache. But I thought that was just because I had a really busy day in work Monday. So Monday night, <clears throat> I made the Christmas cake. So uh, the footage that you're now about to see is making the Christmas cake earlier in the week. Um, I then didn't actually film this way finished footage, but I did film it this way for Instagram. So the footage does change orientation right at the very end to see the finished cake. Um, please forgive me. In a future video, I, I need to make another cake, so I'll film it properly again. But let's go now. You can go and watch him make the Christmas cake. Okay, Christmas cake time. I'm not sure where we are in the video. It's Monday, and I'm going to make the first Christmas cake. So I have my tin. This is the tin that I always use. I think it's nine inches square. And the first step is to... Start all the origami bits. So, because it the cake cooks in the oven for like four hours on a really low temperature, um, it needs lots of like insulation. So I always put, um, this is how my grandfather did it. Delia says to line the tin, but I always do it like Bampy did. So um, double lined or double thick will go on the bottom. Then, uh, um, a layer around the inside. Then we'll do a cuff around the outside that's double height. And then it'll have a little lid with a hole in to let the steam out. So we're going to do some origami. I'll be back in a moment when it's lined. It'll make too much noise to do it on the camera. Hold for steam. Thanks to my glamorous assistant. Uh, 
Ta da! Okay, so I've used some some wool, MCAL wool, um, green for Christmas. So uh, that's ready now, and I've got a double piece with a hole in, which will let some of the steam out. So Mark is just doing some prep in the oven for tonight's tea. We're having a stew, chicken stew, yummy. Winter's here. Uh, so I'm gonna weigh out all of my ingredients and then it should just be a case of bish bash bosh. So I'll time lapse as I do that bit. And I think you can, oh, we can play some Christmas music for the first time this season. So let's play the Christmas music while I time lapse and get the cake in the oven. There is no better smell at Christmas than at Christmas. Just there's no better smell than a Christmas cake baking. All the spices and the fruit. And yeah, it was really lovely. So I set the timer for three hours 45 just to check it. It's usually bang on like four hours and our cakes are done. So the cake looked really gorgeous. And um, yeah, so first Christmas cake is done. Um, oh, It's actually sitting on the island. <laughs> so the first one's done. It is double wrapped in uh, parchment paper, baking paper, and then wrapped in foil. So it'll now just sit. So um, when I get back on Sunday, excuse the rattling while I put this down. When I get back on Sunday from the band competition, I'll make the second one, then I'll make another one on Monday night, and then they're done. They can just sit there. And then I'll feed them over the coming weeks. So we'll see that in future episodes, videos, blogs. So yeah, first Christmas cake is done. Tick. That is a great thing to have sorted. Um, so before I go and grab my MCAL, and then we think about wrapping this video up, let me go and put Philippe back in his place. And then let's go and look at the Halloween display. So yeah, here is my little autumn Halloween theme. We've got Martin and his mates are still hanging out because they're still on the camping trip. Uh, prototype Martin, original Martin is over on the cushions. But there is the finished Philippe sitting atop a pumpkin. Uh, and then we've got some lovely little pumpkins that I finished, although I just realized I didn't put a core in that one so I need to sort that out but I've got some pumpkins that I've made so managed to do an extra four this year on top of everything else and of course there are the nightmarish not because they're scary because they were a nightmare to make spooky candles so all in all I feel like the flat is a little bit autumnal which is all right I do like it and I think now I can add to the display each year. So maybe a couple more pumpkins for next year, maybe another gargoyle with a few different features or a little different colour. So year by year now, the little display will get bigger. So I'm definitely going to add to that Halloween display. In the same way that I've started kind of doing that with Christmas now, because 
Last year I made a giant, I made a, a large nutcracker. This year I'm planning on making a large head elf. Um, and, oh, maybe that's what I'll take to Torquay with me. Ooh. I was going to say my M car because I've got two hours in the car. But I'm, thinking, I'm wondering how practical this is to sit and knit in the car. I might take some crochet with me because it might be easier. General musings, that's literally just popped into my head. But I, I'm going to make a head elf this year to join the Nutcracker. We've got last year's Toft Advent with the little Nutcracker scene. So I want to start to have a few little themes that are seasonal. So all the Halloween stuff can now go away. The Christmas stuff maybe can come out in a week or so's time. Um, so yeah, that's been really good fun to work on through November. So I've actually, I, I'm editing this footage as I'm narrating it. Um, so I'm up to 20 minutes already, which is good because I th thought this morning, what a damp squib end to Vlogtober with about this much footage. And actually it's turned into a nice, I think it's, it's, it's looking like a nice episode. So I hope that you're joining. If anyone's still here watching... Hi, great, thanks. Um, <laughs> I can't believe I got poorly. I think it's kind of... A lot of people on Instagram are going, you do a lot. <laughs> and I do a lot. Um, I like to be busy. I like to be active. I don't like to just sit on the sofa. But also work has been really crazy. Um, we went out and had drinks and dinner in Cardiff City Centre last weekend. And I could have just picked up a virus. I think, I think it's just like a little virus thing. Mark, touch wood has not got it. Um, so I think, yeah, I was just like 24 hour bug thing. I'm all right. But I'm, I was like, oh, what a way to end Vlogtober. It's fine. So MCAL, we are so close. And I promise you, are so, so close, which is why I think maybe I will take this to do in the car. Because I could at least finish this clue, maybe. Uh, so, spoiler. Da, da, da. So you've seen my border and the fact that I'm doing the, obviously, it's pink and green, but it's plain green, green and black, double green. This double green is so soft. Oh, I love the Suri. So you can see my border. Can you see how close I am? So we are, I've got that to go, which I think I counted, I did a little bit on it last night. I think I counted and I've got nine main colour scallops left to go. So this is, it is currently my plan for car knitting. Um, so I probably will take it because even if I don't necessarily get to do it in the car because I'm chatting to my friends, I'll have some downtime over the weekend because we're going today, Friday at one o'clock and I'm not back until Sunday mid-afternoon. So I'll have some time to knit on this. So I'll, I'll take it with me anyway to try and get the scallops finished. But I'm still obsessed with it. I still love it. It's, yeah. The back is as sexy as the front and... Yeah, if I, by the end of this weekend, if I can get Clue 3 finished, I've then got a couple of weeks to plough through Clue 4. So my own internal target for this was the Wicked Movie launch. So that is the 22nd of November, I think, here in the UK. So it's the first today. So I've basically got 20 days to finish Clue 3 and do Clue 4. I will at least get this bit of Clue 4 finished. Whether I can finish the border, we'll see. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the different technique and I love how vibrant the pink and the green are looking. I think I have settled on not making another one though. Um, I really do like the design. And for those of you that have been here all through Vlogtober, know that I have another kit in greys and yellows that I picked up from Stephen and Penelope. And my plan always was to see about either making a second one of these or making another Starflake, which was my very first MCAL. And I think I'm settled on doing another Starflake because in some of the Vlogtober videos, you see me wash and block all of my past shawls, past, previous or past shawls. And the Starflake one just, 
because it was my first one, it'll always be a special shawl for me because it was my first one. The brioche is a little bit loosey-goosey. There's a few little holes. There's some mistakes in it. I feel like now it would be a nice time in a grey and a yellow, which are really my colours, to make another Starflake. So I think that's going to be my plan at some point, right? When's that going to happen? Not sure. Advent's coming. Need to do some Advent knitting. Um, I also want to think about doing Hiber Knit Along this year. Let me know in the comments below. If you've done Hiber Knit Along before, I've never done it because I always feel like I have MCAL, I have shawl fatigue because I finished the MCAL and then it's straight into another shawl. But I feel like maybe next year is going to be the year of the shawls and some of the other projects. Yes, I know I've got to finish that project as well. That's in my January plans. Um, but I feel like, yeah, I might do another Starflake with the other wall. But I'm also thinking about joining in Hibernate along this year. So let me know below in the comments if you've done it before. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been going for. As in, I think this is the 15th MCAL. I don't think there's been 15 Hibernate alongs. Maybe three or four, perhaps. I'm not sure. If anyone's got any Hibernate along insight in the comments below, please let me know. Hit me up. Um, I've got a weekly advent come in, which is five 100 gram skeins which also helps me then not, I can open my advent, but I don't have to use them. I think my plan is to just say, whatever the hyper knit along is gonna be, I'm using that weekly advent. And we'll see what happens, right? Um, so I think that's the plan. Weekly advent, hyper knit along. So then I can open the yarn, but I don't have to use it till, do we cast on on Boxing Day? Christmas Eve, Boxing Day? I'm not sure. Anyone, can someone help me with some hyper knit along, please? Thank you. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm so close with my shawl and I've really not made much progress this week because I've been poorly. I missed the humans of Westnit Zoom with Irina and all the lovely folks um, because I was poorly. So I feel like I've lost a bit of a week now, but sometimes you've just got to say, listen to your body. Stitch stopper. Uh, listen to your body and just rest. If you need to rest, you need to rest. So there we go. I'm going to wrap this video up. I need to get all my stuff ready to go. I need to find a crochet hook and the large wool. Maybe I'll just take a couple of balls and I'll take the bot. I'll do the body and the head. That's what I'm going to do. I'll take the wool to make the body and the head, which I can do in the car. I'll take this with me for sitting down knitting. That's a good weekend plan. Right, I've got my weekend knitting plan sorted, as well as a band competition. Like, we're, we're there to compete. Um, for those of you at the beginning of Vlogtober, you saw me in band. I was playing tenor horn. I'm not playing tenor horn anymore. I'm back on cornet. Um, long story. Um, I'm actually happier, I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm back on cornet. So, um, band competition. Maybe there'll be some footage of that in a future video. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed doing Vlogtober and filming different bits behind the scenes it's kind of like vlogmas where you just get to follow mark and i through december as we get ready for crazy christmas with the family um i think it is crazy christmas again i think it's like seven adults and two kids on christmas day and 15 adults and four kids on boxing day I think it's something like that it's like it's bonkers our christmas which is lush and i love it big family christmas so yeah vlogmas will all be about getting ready for that as well as opening all the advent calendars i think i've got <laughs> i said i wasn't buying any and i think i've got six maybe five five i think that's up for another video um there's a lot um so yeah so i think what i'll do is i won't disappear completely now so whereas we've had it, it's kind of the last few weeks has been one video a week but earlier there were a few more um i'll still check in i think i've really enjoyed um filming them you folks have clearly enjoyed watching them they've been some um great comments and likes and subscriber numbers and so i've said i'll make videos as long as you folks keep watching them so i will be back in november um rather than just doing one or two videos in November. I'll try. I'll still try and do a weekly video in November. Keep you updated with progress on my Wicked Shawl. I've got a Wicked Movie Advent Calendar. I can't get it. It's over there. Um, that I bought. Um, more on that. There'll be a, a whole video just on that, which I bought to open the twelve days counting down to the movie. We get to open a little package. I'm gonna make a. 
I'm gonna make a cowl and I'm gonna try and open that mornings. It's like a like a pre-advent advent. Um, and I'm gonna open that morning, I'm gonna try and put some rows on a cowl and then see if I can get, I won't get to the end, but I might get to the end and have a cowl to wear to the movie as well as a shawl. You know I love an optimistic and ambitious plan. Uh, but yeah, there's loads of fun things coming up, hopefully, now between now and the end of the year. So I'll be back at least once a week, if not maybe twice a week. We'll see what happens. But I've now done a lot of talking for someone that was poorly. So I'm going to go and have five minutes of rest, get all my stuff ready to go away for the weekend. So just wanted to wrap this up. Thank you so much for being here throughout vlog, uh, Vlogtober. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and joined the channel. It's really lovely to have you. There are loads of back editions if you want to go back and catch up on some other videos. But stay tuned for some November fun as we get ready to head into Advent and Vlogmas. It doesn't feel like December's coming. It's still too warm. In the UK, it was like 16 degrees in the UK yesterday. I'm fuming. I want to get cosy November. On my written blog, I'm talking about Hoogar and autumn and cosy vibes. And then it's 16 degrees outside. I'm like, what's that all about? Um, so, yeah, let's see how we go. But thank you very much for being here. As always, I really do appreciate it. Thank you for bearing with me this week. Only one video because knitter down. It's fine. Mark's a very good nurse. He doesn't have much patience. It's good when I'm really ill. I'm really ill. Like I slept all day. So I was a, I was a good patient because I didn't bother him. Um, I'm a, oh, I'm ill. I need 50 minute obs. Can you tell how, uh, you, you, you could probably, if I said that there were two types, one of us wants attention and one of us doesn't, you could probably guess which one was which, couldn't you? Uh, so yeah, there we go. Um, thank you very much for being here. And I'll be back next week with some more Knit365 shenanigans. Hopefully I'll be better. I'll have much more progress on my shawl. And uh, yeah, so until we speak again, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.